How regularly are you speaking to the president? How much involvement is what's he it, having? How regularly I am speaking? It's not, it's not a question. The, 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 what's important is that he knows everything that is happening in the preparation of the World Cup. He is involved in that. Uh, he sees President Blotter regularly. Uh, he's aware of everything that is happening around the World Cup in our country. There has, though, been the, the talk of boycotting the World Cup because of the, the political issues, the, the Ukraine crisis. How much of a guarantee have you had that this tournament will not be affected by that? We have full support from FIFA. We don't see any reason why the World Cup should be affected by any political developments. It's a very peaceful, a very joyful tournament, which has nothing to do with politics. What happens if Ukraine qualify? We would welcome any team that qualifies. Both the team officials and fans will be treated exactly like everybody else, regardless of their country of origin, religion, uh, sexual preferences, or other. You've brought me nicely onto that. <laughs> How do you onto that issue? How do you guarantee the safety of, of fans and players from ethnic minorities? from across the board who, up to this point, feel awkward and in danger, some of them, coming to, to play their sport in Russia. While there are individual outbreaks of, uh, uh, of these undesired uh, tendencies, it's, it, it cannot be regarded as a trend in our country. What do you say to the to players who have spoken out, the likes of Yaya Torre has said, he would consider not Well, we, we deeply regret that they feel this way. We, we're doing the best we can to off-balance that, to, to make sure that everybody here is welcome and everybody will feel great in Russia during the World Cup. But again, it's hard to compare the way uh, club competition, competitions are organized and the way the World Cup is organized. It's two different, two different competitions. But can you guarantee the safety of players and fans. Yes, absolutely. There's a lot of fears, a lot of hesitation, but it, it, in the end the event happens and it's, it's successful and people trust us. So we, throughout previous competitions we built this trust. Uh, there's no reason to lose it during the World Cup, only make it stronger.